Let's look at some graph function examples using orient DB. Hopefully we'll see everything that you need to know to get an edge up on using orient DB. Some key concepts are class, vertex, edge, graph, and functions. We'll see how to query a graph using in, out, and both, along with some other fancy functions. We'll see applications on a vehicle history database, and by the end, we'll see where to find some more info. A graph describes relationships. Suppose we're interested in organizing a tour for a bunch of bands. These bands might play at many different venues in many different cities. A band could have many different artists. An artist could be from a city playing instruments. Venues might accommodate different kinds of instruments or own instruments of their own. Key concepts of a graph are class, vertex, edge, the graph itself, and functions on the graph. A class is a model for grouping records together, like a table in a relational database. A vertex is a special class for holding data to describe real-world things. An edge is another type of class for holding data to relate real-world things. A graph is a collection of vertices and edges. And a function is a means of making changes to or extracting information from a graph. So let's go back to this touring bands database. It has many different classes. A class for each node or vertex in the database and a class for each edge. It also has two special classes called V and E. Subclasses of V are vertices. These are band, venue, city, artist, and instrument. Subclasses of E are edges, such as plays at, is in, is from, plays the, has member, owns, and accommodates. We can query our graph with functions like in and out. We can use these functions to select different vertices in our graph. A function out references a vertex set. So, if we want to see which venues a band is playing at, we could say select out plays at from band. Notice that the from clause is band, and we're selecting out of band along plays at. In will select vertices that point in to that vertex. So select in plays at from venue will give us a band or a set of bands. We can query a graph with the function both as well. We notice that an artist is related to a band by has member pointing into it. We can see that artist has an edge pointing out called is from that goes to a city and an artist has an edge going out called plays that which points to an instrument. If we wanted to select both from artist, we'll select all of the vertices that are reached from an artist. By putting a specific artist in a where clause, we could find out that artist's band, their city, and which instruments they play. Expand is a very important function if you want to see the attribute information related to a vertex. In, out, and both all return a set of record IDs to the vertices selected. You will use expand to extract property information from your query. So if we said select expand in plays at from venue, then we'll find the names of all of the bands that are playing at all of the venues. This query returns one record for every edge called plays at 
that points to a vertex of the venue class. If there's a band that plays multiple venues, then we'll see that band many times in our result set. To remove duplicates from our result set, we can nest our query within another select statement and project unique names with distinct. So, to find all of the bands that are playing at any venue, and to remove duplicates, we'll say select distinct name from select expand in plays at from venue. Let's look at an application using the Vehicle History Database. You can download the Vehicle History Database through OriantDB Studio. Start your server instance and open up your web browser. Go to localhost 2480 and click the Cloud button to see database models provided by OriantDB. Use your server user credentials to download Vehicle History Graph now. I'm going to open up my terminal and go to library orient db bin server.sh. Starting the server, I'll go to my web browser and visit localhost 2480. From here, I can import a public database, go to vehicle history graph down uh, near the bottom, and download it. I get an error because I already have this database downloaded, but nonetheless, I can access it. Admin. Admin is a default user account that is connected to the database. We'll create connect to it and we can see a graph in our graph editor. If we said select from V, we can see some vertices in our graph. By double clicking on them, we can start to see some relationships between transactions, people, automobiles, models, and probably more things. The schema for vehicle history graph looks something like this. We've got automobiles related to models by the is model edge. A model is make. A make is sold in a transaction, an automobile is purchased in a transaction, and a person can sell a transaction using the sold edge, or we can see if a person bought a car in a transaction using the bought edge. Querying a graph database will find how many cars of a certain make were sold. We'll use some of those in out functions that we saw earlier. A make could be sold many times in many different transactions. So if we want to see how many times a make was sold, we'll rephrase our question in something more like the query language. And how many transactions was the Ford sold by make? We can do this saying select or expand out sold from make where name is Ford. This query starts with a make named Ford and selects all of the vertices that can be arrived at by traveling outwards on a sold edge. We'll expand all of those vertices information to see one record for every transaction sold from Ford. We nest this inside of count, and we'll see how many Fords were sold. I go to my browse window, and I type in my query. Select expand out sold from make, where name equals Ford. I run, and I see all of the different transactions. I'll say select count star from that result and I see that there are 21 different Fords sold. We can use the function size to also count the number of vertices or edges in a collection. Let's say we want to find the automobile with the largest purchase history. 
which automobile has the most out edges labeled purchased. So you get this number with the function out e purchased dot size. It'll tell us how many edges are labeled purchased with respect to a vertex. So we can do this. Select all the attributes and the number of edges labeled purchased from all records in the automobile class. We're going to order this result by size in descending order and limit the result set to 1. This ought to tell us which vehicle was purchased the most amount of times. We can see this query running in Studio as well. And we see that the vehicle that was purchased the most number of times is red. It's not a convertible. Size is right here. It was purchased 10 times. And there's the VIN number. We can travel our graph by concatenating functions like in and out together. Let's say that we want to find which automobiles are made by Kia in the database. We'll notice from our schema that an automobile is a model, a model is a make. So if we look at an automobile record, we don't see which make or model it is. We have to travel the graph to find this information. So let's start from Kia, the make, and travel the edges that point into it. We'll travel the edge in called is make to arrive at a model, and we'll travel the edge in called is model to arrive at an automobile. Now all we do is say select expand in is make dot in is model from the make named Kia. If we type this into our query editor, we should expect to see the vehicles in a database that are Kias. So let's run. We see that we were returned three records. So there are three vehicles that are Kias in our database. Now let's look at this in a graph to see a little bit more. We can double click on all of these automobiles to find the models and the transactions that they are involved in. If we travel out on is model, we can see that these models all point to the make Kia. We can use traverse to travel edges in our database. This can be an advantage over in.in style queries when the distance from our starting node to our target is not known. The code in this slide will return the same result set as found earlier. Specifically, which vehicles in our database are Kias? It says select from traverse in, from select from make, where name is Kia, where class is automobile. Let's type this query into our browser and run it to see that we did, in fact, receive the same information as we did with that in.in query. To make sense of this traverse statement, we'll try to break the query down a little bit. We'll delete the WHERE clause and start from the most nested block of information. Select from make where name equals Kia. So we see one record called Kia of the class make with some in edge information and some out edge information. We can do a traverse in from this vertex. When we do traverse in from that vertex, we see all of the vertices that are reached by traveling the in edges. 
we see the vertex we started at, we see the model sold, we see an automobile, we see the model Sportage two-wheel drive, we see an automobile, we see the model Optima, we see an automobile, and we see a model Sedona SX. Now we're only interested in which automobiles are Kias, so we have to narrow this traverse down a little bit more. What we'll do is we'll say select from that traverse statement where our class is automobile. Now all is right in the world. We only have three vertices returned. They're the automobiles that are Kias. So we've used a few of the functions with OrientDB in this video. In, out, out e, both, size, count, distinct. There are many more functions for you to make use of and you can find them by visiting the OrientDB documentation at orientdb.com slash docs slash last slash sql-functions.html. This is where you'll find some more detailed information about graph functions. If you have specific questions about one of these examples in the video, or about using OrientDB's graph functions in your own use case, you can post questions to stackoverflow.com with the tag orientdb. I hope that this video provided you with some useful information about orientdb's graph functions. Thanks for watching.